Right, this is a quick walk around video, and this is for a Honda CRV 2 litre ES automatic. This particular car has covered just 64,000 miles. Lovely looking car, it's in a it's like a dark bronze metallic, which looks absolutely stunning in the sunlight and looks black in the cloudier weather. It's just a lovely car that's very sought after. You can see here, this one's also fitted with a couple of lovely options, uh, notably these 19 inch Honda alloys. Uh, but also, this car's also got the sat nav and rear parking camera fitted to the car as well. But it's very, very, very nice looking car. I apologise, I don't normally do it when it's so sunny or the sun's so low, but um, time's running very thin today. So I'll just, I'm going to do this as uh, best I possibly can for you. The lights and lenses on the offside here, completely clear. Bonnet is very, very good indeed for the age of the car. Only a couple of very, very light marks on there. Shadow out of the way. The lenses again on the near side here, very, very good indeed. Panel work on this near side, very clean and tidy. I come down the wing, completely clear. The front alloy, very, very good indeed. Of the panels down this near side, really clean. As I always say, especially on a you know eight, nine, ten year old car, even you know, and a dark one at that, there will be the odd, very light mark on the paintwork which the camera doesn't pick up. So, do please bear that in mind. Um, rear alloy again, very, very clean. And on the back of the vehicle, but it's been kept. Very, very nicely this car, to be fair. Back of the car again, paint looks absolutely lovely. And then down the offside, really, really, really cleaning the panels there, hopefully you can see. Rear alloy again, lovely and clean. And the remainder's kept very nicely. You know, to see one without kind of a little dimple down or anything, it's just remarkable in this age. Uh, but you say it's obviously been treated very, very well indeed. And then final alloy, really good. Just one tiny little mark up on the far left there. But as long as it doesn't detract looking at a car, it's in really, really nice condition. Coming into the boot area, trying to do it where the sun doesn't catch so much. It's got its full complements of equipment there, tonneau cover. Rear pass, rear middle shelf rather, and then at you know, the bottom there. But it's you know, it kept very nice. They are massive boots. Incidentally, if you don't want to use these um, middle shelves, just pop them in the uh, little recess down here underneath because it literally you don't lose any boot space by doing it. Uh, but it's just not in the way because I've never found a use for it personally. So coming to the back of the car now, uh, Honda's CRV is sort of famed for being great family car and you can see why the amount of rear leg room is absolutely enormous back there uh, also worth noting that the you can actually pull these seats forward and back on runners uh, to extend the boot space and those the rear backrest angle can be changed by pulling the tab up as well come to the front of the car all generally in very good order the seats in the front again in very 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 good condition Driver's side as well. Again, all been kept very nice. So sat inside the car now. Engine's running through this section of the video just so the dashboard's illuminated for you. The dashboard again generally in very nice condition. As you can see here, this one's also fitted with this sat nav system, which is normally only found in the top of the range EX models, so it's a lovely option. We'll pop the car into reverse, You've got this lovely clear colour uh, rear parking camera there as well, uh, but all working absolutely perfectly. Go across the main binnacle itself, just to pan in there for you, hopefully, you can see 64,687 miles, and there's absolutely no warning lights on the dashboard at all. What will follow this video will be a road test of this very car. Right, this is a quick road test video, and this is for a Honda CRV, and it's a 2 litre ES automatic. Uh, 
mileage at the start of this road test is 64,687 miles and the registration number is HK57GDO. The reason for the road tests, as I say, in all of them basically, is just so customers of ours get to see the cars we're selling actually in operation. That way, if there's any sort of major issues with the car, then we get to have an opportunity to tell you about them prior to you coming. It's what we've done on many of our previous videos where it's been relevant. Um, it's also done on the quiet country roads, very close to our premises, so hopefully it'll be representative of what you feel yourself uh, when you came and saw the car and if offered a test drive. So starting with the engine of the car, engine that obviously starts absolutely first turn of the key. Uh, there's no warning lights on the dashboard at all relating to the engine or any other part of the car. Uh, the engine idles absolutely rock steady and pulls as any as sweetly as any Honda 2 litre should do. It's got a, it's a lovely engine. These very very easy revving, uh, very docile, very um, refined in their operation. It's just a very very nice unit. Obviously cam chain driven, so there's no cam belts on these cars to worry about. Uh, which obviously saves a, an awful lot in terms of servicing but also is a far better way to run an engine in our opinion. Engine then feeds through into the Honda automatic gearbox uh, which is a you know, typical Honda box, very very good quality gearboxes these. Um, we've never had any issues with them even with much much higher mileages uh, so they're very tough indeed uh, but also it's very well suited to the engine. Gear ratio has been chosen very carefully. They're very smooth shifting as well. So obviously you should still do the checks on any automatic gearbox just to make sure that engagement is smooth, no sort of thumps when it goes into drive, uh, but also um, that it, the actual gear changes themselves aren't harsh in any way. They should be very, very smooth indeed. And this one is exactly how it should be. I said it's always quiet around here of course, it's typical that the only day we ever see any cars it must be a, an event going on at the local rugby club, which is the normal thing. But this one, as an example of the, the Honda box, absolutely perfect. You know, So in terms of the powertrain, engine, gearbox, um, all operating exactly as they should. Steering on this vehicle, um, track's absolutely bullet straight there's no vibrations there's no sort of wobbling from the steering wheel at all I always do that check for steering for some bizarre reason halfway around a corner I'll do that again in a second for you but uh, I should choose my moments more carefully I've done this enough times I should know by now um, but it feels tight taut solid um, in hand you know it doesn't feel like there's any wear in the steering at all I mean they're, they're very tough cars always have been and this one feels exactly as they should as I said there's you know certainly up to the legal limit the speed I'm allowed to drive at there's you know no vibrations at all coming through the steering wheel um, so all it all in fine fettle it's also very well matched the chassis um, you know too quick a steering and it can unsettle a car too slow and it make it feel clumsy and cumbersome um, but this one's exactly as it should be in all honesty so it tracks absolute bullet straight remember that moment, point on the road for next time so I don't make a poor looks of it. Uh, go through the corners, chassis is really good, it sits very flat, very composed, hardly any pitching or roll in the, the chassis at all, certainly compared to some which tend to sort of lean over far more which is very good for rear passengers, especially ones that, like my kids who are as prone to sickness as any others, um, they, they, don't, they don't suffer it in the CRVs that we've had we've had huge numbers of them as well um, again things I'm checking for on road test uh, will be just signs of any sort of clumps or bangs from underneath the chassis that shouldn't be there it's normally things like sort of rubber bush or drop link around to roll bar link that kind of thing but there's nothing on this at all it's 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 absolutely silent underneath brakes on the car just give a nice shove good solid brake pedal there's no pulsing there's no vibrations coming back through the um, brake pedal at all so again all in fine order
noticeable as I'm driving at speed, and again, something I'm looking out for on road test is, you know, they are quiet cars, um, but obviously that can be ruined by having a sort of lot of wind noise coming in through a damaged windscreen seal or door seal, but again, all in fine order here. Looking around inside the car, the first thing you notice is just how well built this thing is. You know, there's no squeaks, no rattles, no buzzers from the trim. It's all very quiet. It's been a very, very well made car. Um, and as you can see here, sat nav, which this car's equipped with, working absolutely perfectly on the car as well. But the dashboard itself is just simplicity to use. It's a lovely, lovely car to sit and own um, and drive rather. You're, Driving position is excellent, perfect in terms of the pedal, the steering wheel, and the seat positioning. Um, all the switches fall readily to hand, and they're very high quality. Everything you press has just got that lovely kind of click click action that you get from these Japanese manufacturers, and it's just, just very well done. Dashboard directly in front, again, classic Honda, simplicity itself, big symmetrical dials, a rev counter, and speedo there pixelation on all the readouts exactly as it should be as well um, but the car drives absolutely fantastically well um, if you don't know already obviously these are four-wheel drive vehicles albeit Honda worked out very quickly that the vast majority of people's driving will be doing exactly as I'm doing here where there's absolutely no need to have it in four-wheel drive where you'd only be chewing up tires and wasting fuel and putting extra mechanical wear on the car so this car's now running in two-wheel drive, front-wheel drive, you know, the most efficient way to pull a car along. Um, only as and when it needs to go into four-wheel drive will it choose to do so itself. And it's brilliant. I mean, I've had many and I've towed caravans across some wet, soggy pitches. Um, and you, know, it, you feel the front wheel start to spin and suddenly you've got grip and you go as it brings in the rear wheels. Um, and it you know, disengages almost as quickly. It's, it's a very, very, very clever system. Um, and its simplicity means reliability because we've never had an issue with one. Um, so and we've sold literally thousands of cars equipped with this um, four-wheel drive system and ne never put a spanner on any of them. So, you know, it's, it's a tough, tough system. As I said at the start of the video, the whole point of it is to bring up any issues that might be on the vehicle uh, but there's nothing on this to report. It, it drives absolutely superbly. It's a you know, very, very nice example of a very good family car. Um, however, if we've missed anything on the video, as always, please don't hesitate. Do give us a call and we'll happily answer any questions you might have.